Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another Steven Universe review. It's been a while. I think the last one was, I don't know, like 44 days ago. Don't quote me on that. But we got two episodes today, and I've got some to say, some, some to say about more than others. Let's pretend that makes sense. So the first episode was um, Steven Floats. Now, I actually saw this episode a few, like, two, I think it's almost two months ago now. So I've got a few ideas about it. So the basic plot is Steven gets, comes back home from Beach City, or from the barn to Beach City, wants a donut. So he goes to the big donut. They're closed. So he goes, so he'll be like, oh, I'll get one tomorrow. Okay, it's a simple setup for an episode. Makes perfect sense. It's nice to see they're back home. Then, as he gets back home, he's really happy, and he realizes he can start jumping up in the air. Right? Like, we can, we know all the other crystal gems can jump really high, but now Steven can as well. So he starts jumping around, and eventually he jumps really high. But while he jumps really high, we see him pass an airplane. Now, what's written on this plane, I think it's Delavara Air or something like that. I'm, I'd like to assume, now, I'd like to assume... This is the state they live in. in the, not the country, but the state. And the reason why I say that is because earlier on in the episode, when Steven's looking through the window of the Big Donut, we see it's big... We see uh, Beach City DV. So that's that's my theory, is that they live in... Dev, Dev, it's like Devalara or Devara or something. I can't remember the name, honestly. But from there... So Steven's jumping around, he eventually uh, uh, he eventually catches the attention of the gyms, because he's still slowly falling, and he basically just asks them, oh, occupy the night with him. So we see them play games, it's actually really sweet to see the gyms occupy all night with him. It's very simple and yet very effective, right? Just like they play checkers, Amethyst hits a bird with food, Pearl freaks out. And then the alarm clock goes off. Oh, wait, before she, um, Garnet goes and steals a phone, and it's Coffee's phone. And Steven has Coffee's number. That, that was a great little gag. But, so, right, they're playing games. The alarm clock goes off, and they start piling stuff on top of Steven to try to get him to lift down. He won't fall down. And then, of course, they bring back the obvious. All of his powers are related to his emotions. This is something as fans we've known about for a long time now, but... I, and I, this isn't even the first time the show addressed this. Remember in the Say Uncle episode that people hate, and yet I kind of like, actually? They addressed that then. But so, we see them... So, Steven... I like the thing where he's like, Oh, Mom? Oh, those feelings are complicated. Great little... It's a great line, because it's true. Those fe It should make him happy, but yet those feelings are complicated. So he finally hits the ground, and I like that. He goes to give them a hug, and it's like, no, wait, go to the big donut. And Pearl's like, but I wanted a hug. It's perfect. It's it's a perfect little line. It it really helps show off the characters. He goes to the big donut. He gets this. He gets his donut. Oh, and also at some point he has a while he's falling down. Uh, he has this whole like dream sequence about everybody getting a donut but him. In which he dies, which is kind of... <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you guys exactly why I like this episode so much. is because it's like the first episode. That doesn't mean it's a repeat of the first episode. It's just, this is the show showing that they can go back... That they're going back to their roots, kind of. I mean, like, we've done some pretty insane things this season so far. I mean, there was Jim Drill, the giant Godzilla fight in Super Watermelon Island, hit the diamond. But this is just going back to its roots. Because remember, the first episode, the old, the biggest problem was summoning his shield with an ice cream cookie cat. This time, it's just him falling. It's such a simple problem. And yet, Steven kind of blows it way out of proportion... And the gyms are there to help him through and through. This is just like one of the first episodes. And that's why it works so well, in my opinion. It's because it reminds me of one of the first episodes. And I, I, I really like this one. A lot, of the a lot of the jokes are good. The slapstick is on point. With a lot of, uh, with a lot of funny uh, actions. Like, it's like, Stephen will fall calmly to the ground behind us. Just psh, splat. It's re this one's really good, actually. And yeah, the other episode was Drop Beat Dad. So, yeah. <laughs> so basically, 
So, Sour Cream's having the show, and they go, and eventually Marty. Marty comes by in his van, and he's like, oh, I'll help you with the show. I'll get you some good equipment, yada, yada, yada. So, Marty's going to help Sour Cream. But, of course, Marty is Marty. I mean, like, I'd like to think he was trying. Like, they set up this whole show. Like, they go down to the beach. He gives them a poster. I'd like to think he was trying, but I kind of doubt it. I really do. Of course, he d he did come with ulterior motives. But, yeah, his ulterior... Once they're at the show, down at the beach, he pops out with this, um... What is it? Guacacola? Oh my gosh! And then, so it's a guacamole-based soda, and I like everybody hates it. And then Ronaldo pours it on chips, and it's like it doesn't even taste good on chips. Oh, uh, that that's great. And then Onion likes it because, of course, Onion would like it. That's who Onion is. But so the show, so Marty ruins everything. He leaves off. Um. He, he leaves, gives Greg a letter, or, well, yeah, and then once he's gone, it's like, okay, Yellowtail comes by, or Yellowtail drives his boat up and is like, let's hear, have your actual show. It's nice to see that Yellowtail and Sour Cream are starting to get along. I, I'm glad that's happening. Steven finally gets to fulfill his dream of being a roadie, which, okay, I, I like the gloves. That was kind of cute. Uh, or how he carries the giant box. And it's like, what has Greg been feeding that kid? But yeah, I, I like I like the episode. It's Marty is still a jerk. But Ian, uh, you know, once a jerk, always a jerk. Um, And then at the end, it ends off kind of on a cliffhanger. Even though I kind of know where it's going. Basically, Greg opens the letter and it's a $10 million check. Greg is now rich. And he's and I, he's only here to he was only here to give Greg the check because he's legally obligated to. So and that's where it ends off. Of course, there we know more's coming. As we know, there's going to be a new episode every day until I want to say August twelfth. Well, except for weekends. But yeah, I kind of already know where this going is going, and oh, I'm excited. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned tomorrow for another episode. Until then, peace.